Do you have to take a numerical reasoning test and it stresses you out? First of all, take a deep breath. Everything is going to be just fine. Hi, my name is Tal. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the most important features of the common numerical reasoning test. You will find out what numerical skills you need to have. We will go through two of the most common question types. And most importantly, you will get five crucial tips that will make your life much easier. Let's dive right in. To successfully take any numerical reasoning test, you will have to master a few basic skills like the four basic operations, percentages, and fractions. If, like me, your high school days are long gone, you should dust off those cobwebs in your brain and refresh the basics. For instance, if you don't know by heart the 1 through 12 multiplication table, start memorizing. There are numerous variations of numerical reasoning tests. However, we do see several types of questions that are quite popular. In tables and graphs questions, you are assessed on your ability to extract and analyze information presented in a graph, chart, or table. Take a look at this question for example. There is a ton of information in this table, which can be overwhelming. Let's go over it together and learn how to easily approach this kind of question with a few simple steps. First things first, get to know the table. Read only the headlines so you know what the data is all about. The numbers are irrelevant for now. Don't be tempted to take it all in at once or you will get confused. So, we know that the table talks about popular sports in four different countries and that the number of viewers is presented in thousands. This is hugely important information. We will come back to that in a bit. Next, read every single word of the question, even twice, and make sure you understand exactly what you are being asked. We are asked about the Australian and Greek viewers, which automatically narrows the table down to two columns. In these two countries, we are asked only about the sailing viewers, so we quickly skim through these two columns and find the sailing data in each. We are asked to determine how many more Australians watch sailing compared to the Greek viewers. And how do we find that? By simple subtraction. Now, remember the tiny but important detail we noticed in the beginning of the question? Having a good solving strategy makes all the difference between the wrong answer, 290, and the right one, 290,000. Each question consists of a series of numbers. Your job is to identify the logical rule behind each series and determine which number or numbers complete the series. Take a look at this series for example. This is what is called a series of differences. The differences between every two numbers form a series of odd numbers. Following this rule, the missing number is 15. Here are some examples of common series you are likely to encounter. A series of perfect squares, a geometric series in which every number is obtained by dividing or multiplying the previous number by a specific number, and an arithmetic series in which every number is obtained by adding or subtracting a constant number to the previous number. Now, let's go over five useful tips and techniques that will help you in your test. Most numerical reasoning tests are taken under a stressful time limit. You could have anywhere between 75 seconds per question to only 14 seconds. What? When preparing for your test, do it under the exact same time limit. That way you will get comfortable with the specific format and feel less stressed in the actual test. Time is of the essence and you might feel like you have to answer all questions. This is wrong. Your goal is to get as many correct answers as possible. If you rush to finish all questions, you will make more mistakes and eventually get a lower score. This is a question you must know the answer to. If you are allowed a calculator, make sure you know how to quickly use one. If you are not, practice on mentally calculating fast. There is an easy way to quickly calculate multiplication of large numbers. Multiply only the last digit in each number and search for the outcome in the answers. For example, all you need to do here is multiply 3 by 9, which equals 27. This means that the last digit in the answer has to be a 7, which means that the correct answer is... Percentages will almost definitely be a major part of your test. Want to know a great rule of thumb? X percent of Y is the same as Y percent of X, meaning 44% of 25 
is the same as 25% of 44. How does that help us? 25% of 44 is a much simpler calculation. Simply divide 44 by 4 and you will get the answer, 11. That's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful and that you feel a bit more confident going into your numerical reasoning test. If you have any questions or you want to add important information, don't hesitate to leave a comment. For more information, make sure to visit our webpage. I've added a link in the description. Good luck on your test. Go get them.